So we're gonna read about Alice in Wonderland, the, the Lucy Carroll original classic, the spine in the back. Last time we remember we last left off was let me see. The last time we left off was the Griffin Meat and the Turtle. That's chapter twenty-two. Now we're gonna move on to chapter twenty-three. Uh, chapter 23, Dazzy with Lobsters. You are, you are, you have not lived under the sea, have you, as a turtle? No, said Alice, I have never went, went, never lived in, on, or under the sea. And have you, said the turtle, ever been introduced to a lobster? I want, I, want, I, I once tasted a Alice bit her tongue before she had said another word. She had indeed tasted the last a lost at dinner, and she found it mo it most delicious. But she realized it was it must be might be unwise to talk about having eating one in front of some creature that might will be will be be friend with the local lobsters. Er, no, I haven't never, I never had the honor of meeting a lobster as, as fable. So cried the turtle, you can have no idea what a delightful thing a lobster cockerel is. No idea at all, so Alice, do you tell me, tell, do you tell me, what is it, what is it? Well, said the griffin, a lobster is a lobster that lives in the sea. I know what a lobster is, interrupted Alice, but not what a quill is. Then I shall tell you is an inverse, said, Al said Turtle. Beneath the water of the sea, are lobsters thick, thick as thick as, as can be, and they have, they love to dance with you and me. The turtle finished the verse and then announced to Alice that the Korea was name of a dance. What sort of dance? asked Alice. Why said the Griffin, you 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 first form into a line on a on the seahorse. This is my favorite part. That part, very funny. Um, let me see. Not so blind, really, interrupted the turtle. Lines of lobster, seals, turtles, salmon, 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 and so on. But you will, you make sure you have clear all the shellfish out of, out of the way first. That generally, generally takes some time, announced the griffin. But then the down stand starts and you advise, advance twice, so each with a lobster as a partner. Of course, sir, to, to advance and change partner. Yes, change officer, take two steps back, continue the griffin. I know what, I know what a lobster is, said Alice. And then said so the turtle, becoming quite exciting. And you throw the lobster as far out, out to the sea as you can. Then you swim after them, cried the griffin. Pretend to be swimming. Turn a summer turn a somersault into in the sea. In the sea, shouted the turtle, leaping up and down. Shade lobsters once again yelled the griffin at the top of its voice. Check the timer, how many minutes still. We have time. We have time. Nine minutes. We're good.
Um, and back to the land again, finished the turtle, almost out of breath. I didn't know what to say. It must be an exhausted then, she said at last. Well, we will, we will, we shall do it, said the turtle, but of course we will have to do it without lost her for now. And the turtle can sing, said the griffin, and so the turtle began to sing in a verse about a fish called a whitey and some other creatures. Will you walk a little faster, said the whitey to the, to the snail. There's a porpoise close behind it, and he's straight on my tail. So how angry the lobster and the turtle all rise. The lobster cruel eel. There's a picture of Alice, the griffin, and the turtle. Page turn, page 148. There are way on the shell. Will you come and join the dance? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you join the dance? Would you, won't you, will you, we won't you, want you join the dance? You are really have no nation of how dreadful it will be when they take us up and throw us with the lobster and out to sea. I will read the fat to hang I read the fat to hang I read the fat But the snail replied, too far, too far, and she gave it a look at, at Askins. Said he thanked the whaling kindly, but he would not join the dance. Would not, could not, would not, could not, would not join the dance. Won't, would not, could not, would not, could not, could not join the dance. What matter is, is how, how far we go? He's, his scaling your friend replied, there is another shore you know upon the other side. The further off from England from England, the nearer is near is to France. Then turn not pale below snail, but come and join the dance. Will you won't you will you won't you will you join the dance? Will you won't you will you won't you join the dance? Alice watched as they finished the dance. Thank you. It was very interesting to see. She said, feeling very glad that it was all over a lot. And I do so. I like the song that about the whiling fish. Have you seen whiling before? Asked the turtle. Oh, yes, said Alice. I have, I have often seen them on deer plates. Once more, Alice had stopped herself from thinking what would the, what would the turtle have thought if he knew she ate his friends. You say you have seen them on dinner Wait, said the turtle. I don't know where that is, but if you meet met a wine there, the dinner place must be a nice place to go out to. And then chapter Chapter 24, Why a Whiting is Called a Whiting. After the dance, the group began a long dis discussion about the whiting and all its habits. Alice was so very, so very bored. My, my, she said, what, when a yawn, I have never heard so much about a whiting before. I can tell you more, said the griffin. Do you know why it's called a whiting? I never even thought about it, said Alice. Hiding another big yawn. Because it's, it's clean boots and shoes that why the griffin said the griffin. Alice was, was very puzzled. Clean boots and shoes. What do you what do you clean your boots and shoes with, asked the griffin. Why with a polished cloth called blacking, replied Alice. Well, there's you are. There you are, said the griffin. Under the sea, it was, it's done by the whiting, but you don't have boots and shoes under the sea, puzzled Alice. Yes, we do, insists the griffin, and what they are made of. 
I that's why I'm not mainly stole an eels of course, said the griffin. Any shrimp could have told you that. Mind you, mind you, said the turtle, I won't go and I see it, I imagine, unless I have a, have, have a purpose to do so. Don't you mean, don't you mean pur purpose, said asked Alice. I meant what I said, said, said the turtle. No fish would go anywhere without a purpose, a purpose, purpose, Alice giggled. The griffin asked if Alice knew of any home about lobster, and Alice did not know, did no one and received it. Tis the voice of the loss, I heard him declare. You have bark, you baked me too brown. I must sugar my hair. As a duck with its eyelids, so he is with his nose, trim his belt and his button, and turn out to his, his toes. With the sand all dry, he is as happy as a lark. And will talk in a ridiculous tones of sharks. But when the, the tide rise and shark are around, his voice was had a timid, timid, a very quiet sound. Oh, two, one, two more minutes. The turtle thought the word the verse nonsense, but the griffin it says Alice should recite the second verse too. I passed by his garden and marked with one eye how the owl and the pounder were sharing a pie. The panther took a pie crust gravy and meat while the owl had a dish it as the shares of the tree. When the pie was all finished, the owl as as a boom boon was kindly permitted to pocket the spoon. The griffin said that he had never heard a such a strange poem. The turtle, uh, turtle agreed. The griffin wondered what they could do next and suggested they might try another. The owl and the panther. You can see there on the picture, a very nice detail from the, 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 the original book, actually. Next page, 100... Page 154, Lobster Korea. And oh no, said Alex. It said, I think the turtles should, should give us a verse about turtles. I'm I'm so I am so too sad to give you a poem. That turtle replied, Too many of my friends have been vanished into the soup pot. Just as the turtle finished picking, they all heard the voice of the white rat in the distance. Hear all hear, hear ye. The trial is about to begin. Take your place in the courtroom immediately. Come on, said cry the griffin, taking Alice by the hand and hurry off. What is what is what is it? What what trial is it? panted Alice. But all that Griffin would say was hurry, hurry on, hurry on. We we must be must be late. See, I still have time. Um, go to, you know, go. oh my God! Chapter twenty-five. Who stole the tarts? The Griffin and Ali rushed into the courthouse and found the king and queen of heart already sit on their throne. I was wonder. What on earth was going on? There seems to be some sort of trial, but who was on the trial? A huge crowd had gathered to witness whatever was about to start. There were funny human beings like little birds, beasts, a lobster or two, the parrot and the dodo, not quite as dead as most dodos are. The dodo lizard was there and so were the frog and the fish footmen. There I was also spotted some guinea pig, the hatter, the flamingo, the three hedgehog, and newt, rabbits, my starfish, and the duchess. I really felt to hang out. 
Oh, and high on the ledge above the throne was the Cheshire Cat, a smile and then disappeared, appearing to its heart content. In the middle of the court was a table with a large dish of, a dish of jam tarts on it. They looked so... This is very funny. I mean, who was on trial? Love the picture right there. My favorite part in the movie, uh, part of the book. That's the book of Alice in Wonderland, the, the Lucy Carroll one.